Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Tweak. On today's episode, free softwares to backup your data, backup your Mozilla or Firefox profiles, and also one free software to backup your game safe data. You can find all the software links in my web blog, which is virtualtweak.com. You can send me an email. My email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com. Welcome everybody to Virtual Tweak. Backup is very important. Whenever you upgrade your OS or reinstall your OS, uh, make sure you backup your data. I found five free softwares that you can use to backup your data. So before you make any purchase or buy any backup softwares, uh, please try these uh, five free softwares to backup your data. First freeware I found is called Back to Zip, and this is Back to Zip. As you can see, it is uh, it, it is a very simple uh, software to backup your files, but it doesn't have any support for CD or DVD burning options. So if you want to burn on C, uh, burn on uh, CD or DVDs, uh, you can't with this uh, Back to Zip. And also for in the schedule of tab, uh, the schedule option is li very limited, and uh, you can play with the options. Back to zip, uh, compress your files and folders into a zip format for backup. So if you want to backup any file and folder uh, using back to zip, uh, back to zip will compress uh, the files and folders uh, into a zip format. So if you want a very simple uh, backup uh, solution, back to zip is very uh, clean and nice. But if you want to burn CD or DVD, uh, then uh, back to zip is not for you. The next freeware I'm going to look into is called Cobian Backup. So this is Cobian Backup 7. It is totally free. And uh, let me show you the options and schedule options uh, for a backup purpose. At first I'm going to click on the new text. Now it is asking me to uh, write, uh, write down the name of the backup. So write down your name and it has uh, four options you you can uh, create a full backup incremental backup differential backup or dummy task in the files tab you can select folder and uh, source folder and the destination folder and it has also FTP server uh, options so you can backup your files and folders to a remote server in the schedule tab it has many many options uh, you can play with and uh, what I like about this Cobian Backup 7 it has many options than the other software I just mentioned uh, earlier which is back to zip so you can uh, backup by daily weekly monthly time or manually you can it has also a compression set uh, set up so if you want to compress your file you can and the special tab you can execute a file and uh, if you want to include any file uh, in, in every backup you can and it has it also has events uh, if I click on the add button you can execute any problem uh, program after backup you can close this program after backup and stuff like that and it is totally free and it has uh, some many options like any paid backup programs so check it out it is Cobian backup 7 version backup is another free software that you can use to backup your data so this is version backup uh, if you want to backup your uh, folders or files click on the define a new backup path and select the folder file or directory you want to backup you can also optimize your some of the settings over here and you can create a backup copy right now if you want to uh, if you want and uh, the nice thing it has a recovery option so if you want to recover from existing backup you can with this free software as you can see it has the additional functionality option right now uh, in this tab but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work because uh, additional functionality is for paid software uh, version backup has two soft uh, two version uh, of their software uh, the first one is a paid uh, software and the second one is a freeware so in the freeware version uh, the additional functionality doesn't work uh, right now I am using the free one so if I click on the additional functionality um, it is asking me to buy the uh, pro version uh, which is uh, paid software 
in the path you can play with the path tab uh, which is source path you can select your source execute any files on uh, uh, any program you can create a full backups you can delete your source and stuff like that in the scheduling tab uh, one thing I don't like about this software it doesn't have that much many uh, that much uh, scheduling options uh, it has only uh, three or three or four options right now uh, you can um, back up whenever you start your reboot your windows uh, you can uh, back up you can select this option uh, back up once per day and uh, no automatic backups that means you have to click uh, whenever you want to back up any software uh, back up any data uh, like I said before uh, it doesn't have any days options or times or uh, days and time select options uh, in this software in the settings tab uh, settings tab you can select uh, the date and time backup date and time you can save your uh, configuration files uh, if you want to reinstall your OS you can save the configuration files and you can check the recovery log and copy log and uh, it is uh, it is totally free software and if you want to have something that you can recover from exist uh, backups then a back a version backup is uh, for you but uh, one more time uh, the scheduling option doesn't have that much uh, settings for you so check it out version backup totally free dfinc backup which is another free backup software and uh, it is not that pretty looking and it is not that easy to set up let me show you I'm going to click on the new text and it is asking me to write down a project name I'm going to select the default one I'm going to click on next now uh, you can uh, back up uh, files by their uh, format type uh, you can back up Microsoft Office files achieve files which is compressed files zip or WinRR files and um, you can select uh, C++ files or you can select any particular folder or files uh, that you want to back up I'm going to select and fire uh, this option selected file types I'm going to click on next now I'm going to click on plus sign and I'm going to select the folder I want to back up uh, say my music okay okay now uh, now I'm going to click on next you can add templates and stuff like that so this is DFI backup monitor and uh, it is not that easy to set up but um, you can uh, use a CD or DVD drive to back up uh, your data and uh, check it out these uh, free softwares before you buy any uh, uh, paid backup software uh, you may like these free ones so we have some free softwares to back up our data but how about backup our Mozilla or Firefox profiles which is very important because um, one time I deformatted my OS and uh, lost my all my bookmarks and uh, passwords uh, in Firefox so uh, I'm going to show you a free software that you can use to backup your profiles uh, for Mozilla or uh, Firefox so <coughs> this is called Moz Backup 1.4.3 it is totally free and uh, when you install Moz Backup uh, launch Moz Backup uh, I'm running right now I'm going to click on next and uh, it is asking me I can uh, back up a profile or I can restore a profile so I'm going to click on backup a profile and uh, you have two options you can um, select uh, Mozilla or Mozilla Firefox 1.5 I'm using Mozilla Firefox but if you are a Mozilla user you can select Mozilla over here uh, but I am a uh, Firefox user so I'm going to click on Mozilla Firefox 1.5 I'm going to click on next now it is asking me which profile I want to back up uh, right now I am using default profile but if you have multiple profile you can select uh, each profile over here and I'm going to click on next or um, you can uh, select the file you want to back up I'm going to click on next I'm going to click on yes and also it has a password protection option so if you want to protect your uh, profiles you can uh, but I don't want to so I'm going to click on no and this is the best option uh, uh, for this software which is you can back up bookmarks your history your extension your safe password cookies and download file list all kinds of stuff so if you want to back up your whole profile 
uh, use this software it is called Moz Backup 1.4 which is totally free if you are a gamer and you want to save your game saves data files so whenever you reinstall your OS you can have these game save files uh, to continue uh, playing your games I found a free software that you can use to back up your game save data files <coughs> it is called Jenny games backup and I'm running it right now it is totally free and uh, it is a must-have software for gamers uh, to back up your games data file and you can back up any game data file uh, save data file you can restore your games uh, data file you can catalog your games and stuff like that it has all um, uh, update options so it will automatically update to new version you can quick backup you can switch layout and uh, if you click on the take the tool it will show you how to do all kinds of stuff mm, and um, I really like this software and I think uh, it is a must have software for gamers so check it out it is totally free it is called Jenny games backup uh, backup option for gamers so everybody try it out all these softwares are free and uh, if you want to back up your files to a hard drive or remote servers then uh, these uh, freewares uh, will work for you and uh, it is totally free Be so before you buy any paid backup softwares uh, try this out and always remember to back up your Mozilla or Firefox profiles so you don't lose your uh, bookmarks or save data and for gamers uh, Jenny games backup is a must have software uh, to restore your game data uh, you can find all the software links in my web blog which is virtualtweak.com you can send me an email my email address is virtualtweak at gmail.com uh, if you like virtualtweak uh, if you like my tutorials please uh, add yourself to uh, virtual tech frapper group and uh, thanks everybody for watching i will see you next time